Hello, and welcome back to Project 6014. Um, last episode, we got all the fuel we needed to make this epic journey through hyperspace with this awesome um, hyperspace remix in the background. Oh my god, this is this is a, this is a good one. I like this one. We're speeding this up. Look at the pace that we have through hyperspace here. Look at the fuel we're burning up. It's, un it's, it's just unbelievable. And uh, we're going over to the Aralu sphere of influence, apparently. I don't know what's going to go on here, um, so let's just see. Um, so I guess we've just got to wait around for a bit. I'm nearly there now. We're at, uh, well we are, yeah, we are pretty far, there we go. So we're at 044.25, whatever. And we are just waiting for something to appear, something to happen, because of course we can't go to quasi-space. We've got to wait for the Aralu to come to us. Um, so I don't know, maybe, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. So, let's just uh, wait around and see... Oh, there we go, there's a ship! Oh my god, it's gonna be the Aralu. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna save the game. Just in case it's like a core or something. Okay, here we go. Do 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 do. Oh my god. Forgive us. For the time being, we, will, we shall take our leave. Oh my god, what was that? That was a bit weird, wasn't it? So it's... Oh my god, what is this? That's strange. It is too early. Much too early. Forgive us, but we shall take our leave for the time being. Oh my god. So they're just an unknown vessel who have just flanked us. Look at that. Oh. Oh god. What is this? This can't be Cora. Can it? Oh, it's Cora. Brilliant. Well, I guess we'll save the game and take them down. We've got a Shamur ship. Let's see if we can take them. Let's go. We are the Urquan Core R. Wrath. It is time to cleanse your presence. The Core R. Wrath. That's strange. A, uh, a new a new Core R. The Core R. Wrath. But your leader's destroyed. And I think you forgot that we blew up the Sumatra. So, what are you doing here? To be honest, what, what are you doing? No, we are not. Uh, yes, you are, I'm afraid. You will present a test to our fortitude, a challenge to make us stronger. It is our nature to conquer that challenge. Okay, well, whatever you say, I mean, I destroyed many the Korra and also Kazeza's ship with my Shimmer avatars, so let's just see how this goes for you, my friend. If you can even kill this one Shimmer, then I might slightly respect what you mean to do here, but, you know, the Shimmer. I mean, look, look, look at the Shimmer. Look how much better they are. They even have satellite shooters. I mean, you're just going to get over now. Let's just see what happens. Will you do a bit of damage? You think you're so good? Oh yeah. Yeah, look at me now. Look at that. Down you go. Goodbye. That's right. That's one nil to Shimmer. Ha <laughs> ha. So, let's uh, let's see how your friend does, Mr. Death Eleven. Uh, I don't know about him. He seems pretty shifty and he doesn't seem to know what he's doing. Look at that miss! Okay, that's a good hit. And you missed again. That's not good. And you missed again. This is really poor from you, actually. This is really, really poor. I'm just gonna die again. Brilliant! There we go! That's 2-0! That is 2-0 to the Shimmer. Because they are the greatest... They are the greatest species because they just create ships that can just beat every other ship. I mean, as they said, back in Star Control 2, incompetent hands such as mine, of course. They can defeat any other ship in space. It's a true fact, as we just proved there. Oh my god, is this another one? No, this is just another one of those strange guys that are just being a bit strange because we don't even know what type of ship they are. There was no encounter. It was just straight into the chat. Didn't even get to see what their ships looked like, which is uh, unfortunate. Maybe it was the... Um, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Could be anything. Can't even make any assumptions because... No, could be wrong, and then I, uh, you know, I may, I may, I may interpret the story wrong. You know what I mean? So I'm not even going to guess what those things are. The whole point is that they're meant to be a secret for now. And that's how I'm going to leave it. I'm gonna leave it a secret for now until the game is released. Again, help the game out in the link below because look how awesome this game is already. This is just a demo, and you can be part of the full game. Which, of course, is going to be amazing. So, here we go. I need to get a little bit more minerals because, of course, we have used up literally... Well, we've used up 80 fuel, which is 1,600 uh, cost. And we're still not even back yet. We're hardly back. 
Um, so we've really used up a lot of minerals. And uh, we need um, at least like a good number to get some more crew for that Shamur. And probably get another avatar since, well, if we if we fight... Uh, well, obviously we took down two there. But, um, you know, if we get unlucky and meet like a group of four, then um, it may be a different story because, of course, we will not be able to defeat them because I'm pretty sure Ye Hat ship uh, well if I'm lucky I may be able to destroy one Korra with the Ye Hat ship but it's definitely the avatars we need in this game because the only real hostiles it seems are the Korra because everything else is in disarray um, until of course we meet that uh, thing that destroyed the Srafixti scouts um, that is probably going to be more of a challenge uh, but we never know Maybe we'll be able to... Uh, well, I mean, the, if you think about it, the Shafixti are really not very powerful at all. I mean, they've got um, those terrible ships, so... Probably not hard to destroy them, but at the same time, I mean... You know, the game wouldn't be based around a really poor enemy that just destroyed some Shafixti. I mean, it's obviously going to be a big enemy that's going to be hard to destroy. Um, but uh, I wonder how they're going to how they're going to lay this game out, because... I pretty, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just um, make you... That's the one thing about this game, is that with the Shamur like in dominance, um, and what the Vux said as well, was it the Vux? Um, you know, the Vux were slave shielded. Maybe I just saw it in a forum. I can't remember, but somewhere I found that, you know, it's just like the sentence, like, it isn't that the um, Urquan have been destroyed, the Shamur and the new Alliance Free Star leaders, it's just they've become the new Urquan. And that's sort of true in a way if you think about it, but at least they're not, um, you know, at least they're not. They are more, they're not just coming to a race and just enslaving them, you know, just because they feel they, their their laws and their, you know, religion says they should. They're doing it because, well, they're, they're quite annoyed, really, with um, what happened previously. I think it's fair dues. I mean, if you slave shield a race for however much time, I mean, they should be allowed to do it back to them if they're more, if they're more powerful. You shouldn't mess with races that you can't handle. And the only reason that the Shamur, or the, or the Chen Jezu and the Murnahan were slave shielded in the first place is because of the Sarmatra. So, you know, if they didn't have the Sarmatra, then um, none of this all would have happened. It would have been so much more peaceful. I mean, the Kora would have probably come around and just obliterated everything if it wasn't for the doctrinal conflict hap happening, like, right in the around the Criterius constellation. I mean, that was pretty lucky. But um, except for that, you know, things, things could have been different. A lot of ways that uh, that the whole situation could have been handled a lot, a lot better, but uh, one thing led to another in uh, 2134 um, until 21 whatever it was. Was it 2134 that Earth got en enslaved, or was it that was the first year that they met the Chain Jesu? I can't remember exactly. Um, I can't remember exactly now, but it was it was around that time. Uh, so. Quite a while. I wonder how long Commander Hayes. I think he was up there for eight years, wasn't he? He was up there for eight years, and he did say that there had been previously. He obviously he said he'd swap with someone. I think so. Probably more than more than ten years. So possibly up to twenty, possibly thirty years of just you know just chilling up on the star base under the slave shield, doing pretty much nothing at all, and just sort of you know doing nothing at all, not not exploring the skies, just 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 sitting ducks. Waiting for the core art to come and get obliterate, come and obliterate us. So yeah, there we go. That's pretty much how it all worked. So we haven't actually really mined that much yet. That's one thing that I have actually, um, unfortunately, fell into the trap of is that it's not like um, I'm not in a situation in uh, sort of Star Control 2 where I had a lot of resources, so it didn't. I, I could I could at least spare going to all the exotic planets and all the good planets to um, to collect their minerals. Um, Technically, I should really be doing that here because I only have one fuel slot, and it costs fuel every single time I go down and like replace uh, less cost minerals. But at this stage, you know, I might as well go down. I mean, blues are um, are, are pretty good still. They're four, um, so I guess that was at least a little bit. Fifty times four, two hundred IU's. I mean, that's not gonna that's not really gonna do too much. But hopefully, if we get a little bit along the way, then. Uh, then it'd be good. We've got to make sure we get more minerals before we hit the uh, original star map as well, but whatever. Should be fine in the end, and we'll get back home and keep going.